welcome. I'm Kaylee O'Donnell from the technical documentation team at MSCRM add-ons. And today I'm going to go over the features and capabilities of the Documents Core Pack dialog. Now Documents Core Pack allows users to quickly and seamlessly generate documents with Documents Core Pack templates and Dynamics 365 data. The Documents Core Pack dialog is what guides users through the steps of this document generation process, while also offering additional document processing options. Now for today's example, I'm going to be generating and sending a quote as a PDF, or more specifically, I want to generate a quote as a PDF, attach it as an email attachment, and then send that email once the document is generated. So let's get started. And now I need to open up my demo instance, which is the sales hub within Dynamics 365. And since I want to generate a quote, I will navigate to our quotes. And from here, I need to select an active quote record. And then I will need to go up to the command bar and select the Create Document button. And this is what will open up that Documents Core Pack dialog. Now I'm gonna continue on with the Let Me Decide Every Step option from here, but it is key to note that you do have the option to configure and select a one-click action. However, we offer additional documentation on that topic, so we will not cover that further in this video. I'll select that Let Me Decide Every Step option. And then next, we will need to select our Documents Core Pack template that we would like to work with. And I have a handy quote template doc ready here. Um, it is key to note that you can only select a template that has been created with our word-based Documents Core Pack template designer. And I will be attaching further documentation on how to use that in our description if you are unfamiliar. But I will select this quote template doc. And you do have the option to also edit your template if you would like to do so with this edit template button. But I'm happy with our template as is. So I'm going to continue on to our document options. And now we'll have a list of options that we'll generate and we can go through and select everything that we would like for our document processing. So for the file type, I'll start here. I would like it to be the PDF. I would like to attach the document and as an email attachment. However, you do also have the options listed here. And then for the email sender, that will remain the current user. For the recipient, I will choose our customer ID. And then for the CC, I will add our, our owner ID. For the email template, I likely have a great template ready for us to use, which is our email quote template. And I would like to send the emails after generation. You can all you have additional options, such as printing the document and selecting your printer, saving to SharePoint, and running a workflow, action, or Microsoft Flow but I'll keep my example more simple for now and move forward to the create document step. Now this can always take a second, but what happens once it's finished generating is you, that you can choose to look at a preview of your document and you can also go ahead and edit directly to that document and make any changes you would like and then save those. So we'll give that just a second to finish loading and then we can begin there. Perfect, okay. So this is where we will click on the link to view our document and let's take a look. Okay, this is looking as planned. And I'm happy with that, great. So I'll X out of there. And if there were any changes that I wanted to make, I would go to this edit option to edit with Word or Word Online. And everything looks right to me. So I'm gonna to move to the finish step. And again, that can always take a second as well, just to give it time to finish generating. Once that document is ready, it will be attached to the email with the desired recipients and sender as specified earlier. And then that will be sent out. Perfect, and here we can see where the quote has been attached. Um, we see the email that was sent below here, and then the actual attachment can be shown here on the right side. I can click that again, and it should generate here, and it is also available for download. And that concludes my brief overview and introduction of the Documents Core Pack dialog. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And make sure to subscribe to our channel also so that you don't miss out on any updates and latest explanations. Thank you, everyone.